us. Hey, nothing wrong with being a giraffe. <laughs> Are you a giraffe, Kiri? I mean, I'm not that tall, but I'm friends with a giraffe, so I have to defend giraffes. Giraffes are awesome, though. True. So that's where Toys R Us went. Pictures. It moved to Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, where was Toys R Us like headquarters? That sounds. Does your friend have to squat to drink water? It, it used to be in Times Square. No, no, the headquarters. Yeah, it used to be in Times Square. Really? And yeah, their flagship was their HQ, though, so. That's yeah, not why... the I'm talking about the corporate. What? <laughs> that I don't know. Anyway, music? Your yeah, corporate yeah. was Washington. Alec, like music? Mm -hmm. That checks out. As a reminder, right. we changed the last time. Uh, are you ready? In three, two, one, go. Previously on Element Asunder. There is no previously, because Neo wasn't here, so she's not allowed to know what happened. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just roll into it. Alright, so we begin. Uh, <laughs> Neo, what are you doing? <laughs> jokes aside, jokes aside. Uh, Come on, you have a life and death decision. I mean, essentially, the party just did some preparations, talked to the Empress, or, well, tried to talk to the Empress. She communicated mostly through writing. Uh, mostly. Writing and gestures. Um, and were essentially for informed that they had been fired. Only to be rehired. <laughs> I wanted to see Nia's reaction to that, but okay. Well, she she uh, says she knew about that part. Oh, that's true. Um, <laughs> the party was informed that they would be considered essentially freelance under the unofficially under the employ of Periander in order to do what the Empire needs them to do in mainly researching ways to close the uh, deal with and close these portals without the potential of an international incident in the case where they were to go to different countries. Officially, they are off the books. Unofficially, they work for Periander. During this time, Galthuck requested a scroll of... a sc specific scroll from the library in order to help out their friends, or their specific friend, stuck in the mirror dimension. Uh back between the capital and Elden Wind. You remember the tiefling, Varys. Um, he was able to get that and request, and upon being informed that Vesrin would likely be leaving soon, requested that he stay at least until they had released the tiefling. Can I, As, hmm? can I just uh, metagame a tiny, tiny bit? Yes, you can. Uh, I looked into it, Cray. I yeah. actually can cast that scroll, but it would not be likely that I'd pass the check. Oh, really? My type of warlock does get the spell, which means I could make the check, but it would not end well. <laughs> okay, oh. meta game over. <laughs> Continue. Uh... Well, with that, they were also introduced to their new party member, Solon Gostier, who is, in fact, not in her 40s or 50s. And oh, the... 20s. Could have fooled me. So you claim... ...prepared <laughs> to leave the capital to head back down towards the Feywild, across it, and to the mansion. Have I met up with the rest of the party yet? Yes. I think we're all together. I think we uh, uh, we fast forwarded the trip to Vieira, right? Sorry. Yeah. Yes, we fast forwarded the trip to Vieira. Okay, so everything's handed off. For we we all have winter clothes. You do all have winter clothes. Yes. Do we have food for the road. Winter clothes. Uh, I don't think we did buy uh, uh anything aside from clothes actually. So I guess if we need to buy rations now is probably the time. Uh, 
Galfuck, do you have the rations that should have been delivered to you? Uh, oh, yes. I have those. Yes, I. I, I, I give them to Galfuck. Okay. At some point. All right. We'll add the ten rations to my account. I will deduct them from mine. I do not have winter clothes in my inventory. I should add that. I now have winter clothes, though. I do as well. Oh, this is true. Galifuck, you're no longer naked. Yay, congratulations. Uh, it's just but a, uh, it's just something to cover me. My shoulders. That's about it. I forgot what level bot. I don't, I know it wasn't exactly winter clothes, but it was just, like, ah. God damn it. That's not what I wanted. Oh, okay. it is. The one time I, I actually don't write things down, I forget it. <laughs> Is there anything else you all would like to prepare before leaving? Uh, I would like to uh get uh another uh, another fifty foot of rope before leaving, as I use some of mine. Uh, okay, that's up. easy enough. Fifty feet of hemp and rope is going to cost you a gold. Uh, one gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh oh, and sorry, and uh some rations as well, like five so, rations or so. Are we all at the store? Uh, that is up to you all. Uh, I, so five days okay. of rations would be twenty-five silver. Twenty-five silver. Okay. I would like to be at the store too, and basically second that up purchase. Is done. Specifically the fifty feet. You also want 50 feet of rope? That's going to be a gold as well. Hey, Levy. Any specific weight for that? Uh, yes. 50 feet of rope is 10 pounds. Creators of D&D &D don't know how much rope weighs. <laughs> well, they do. 50 feet of rope is actually like almost 2 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty light. Yeah. Kind of fair, but I didn't want to call him that. No, it ten. no, it's actually ten in the five E. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm going by what it says. So we're <laughs> actually nerds who don't know how things work. Okay, cool. Yeah, most of us are Jeremy scientists. Crawford. So stupid, okay. Jeremy Crawford. <laughs> All is fine. That's got to throw him off a cliff and see if he takes twenty d six damage, right? <laughs> I'm sure he'll survive as long as he rages. What if you fling? <laughs> Wait, what if you fling me as from As long a as he has resistance to bludgeoning, he'll be fine. Wait, are you, are you gonna? Are you texting that on me? Is that what you agreed on last session when I was what? with the ailment? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. It's called an orbital an, an orbital drop. The shockwave caused from hitting the floor at terminal velocity at your size. <laughs> so, like, will I die? What? I mean, at worst, you take 60 damage. How much HP do I have? Uh... I mean, are you intending uh... to go terminal velocity? Okay, I can almost do this. In a couple less in a couple levels I'm gonna take you up on that offer. <laughs> <laughs> I am strong. Okay then. Um good to know. <laughs> so, is everyone prepared? We all have yeah. warm clothing Aye. and rations. Yes. Yep. All right, so you guys gather your things, your cart, and you head out. Uh, Periander, are we are we riding in your cart? Periander's not here. Oh, sorry. Uh, so is it Solan? Solan. Solan. Solan, are uh, we riding in your cart? I I kind of don't have the money to be able to do that. What cart? I thought you guys had a cart. That card burned in ash, sadly, so we probably need to buy a new card. Okay. 
right, I forgot you guys set the cart on fire. Did I set the cart on fire? No, we, we parked it at Fort, uh, uh, Forte's house and never took it back. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Can um, we get it back then, or is it too late? It was Forte's cart. So? It, was Forte. it does not belong to the rest of you. <laughs> They, uh, they don't know that. Nice. What's he going to do? Stop us? Yes. <laughs> How? So, okay, Is Forte we... going to come back from the grave to take his cart back? No, but his mother would His family will. Oh, fuck, you're right. I can't do that to his mom. Okay, so, never mind. Uh, DM, quick question. How much does the cart cost? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, if you go out, you go asking around, you find carts to be about 18 gold. What about cool. the horses? I what now happens? have the party. I have a question for the party. We have two options. We can either burn 20 gold as a group to buy a cart, or we wait till the dead of night and steal Forte's cart. Who casts their vote? We just put so, the money for like a cart. Ask, uh, how, how much, uh, I'd like to ask how much it costs to get a horse. Uh, what what type to push of the horse? cart? A, a, horse a, 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 a mighty stallion that can push the cart. Not you, Galfuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was definitely, definitely, I was looking at it and I was like, I probably could. Uh, well, if you want the mightiest of horses it would be 400 gold to get a war horse what's an upgrade just above a donkey uh there's a riding horse which can't pull and can't carry as much but is slightly faster and then there's a draft horse how much are either uh riding horse is 75 gold they can't pull a cart though and then there's the draft horse which slightly slower only 50 gold, and can, in fact, pull. Would take probably two to pull your cart. Wait, why does a... No, why is a more expensive horse not able to... Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just not gonna ask. Okay, so altogether... Two horses, and the cart, so that's 114. Mm-hmm. Um, no. I'd, I'd like to see... Can I... Try... Wait, 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 no, so two horses is 50 on its own. Yeah, that's 100. And then the cart, yes, yes, 150, 100, no, no, it was, yeah, 118, 118, yeah. 18 for the well, cart, right? 120, basically. Okay. Um, I'd like I to, like, talk, I'd, I'd, I'd like to whisper to JJ to see if we can, uh, negotiate a, a, uh, group discount. Oh, I like the thought of that. Um, Maybe for like a hundred, I, I, I whisper. So we're just straight haggling at the moment, right? You're talking to a cart dealer, yes? Well, currently we're talking to each other, not the cart dealer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I ask you, actually, do you have anything that is cheap on you but would look... Do you have any? Do you have any accessories you're willing to part ways with? Who are you asking this to? To whoever Ed's character is. I completely spacing the name right now. <laughs> Dolan? Yep. Nothing I'm willing to part ways with. Yeah, you have something a little bit shiny. Got gold? Just a little bit. I got gold. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you have, like, a sword you're willing to get rid of? Or maybe, um... Do I look like I have a sword? <laughs> Actually, I have a rapier, but I kind of need that self-defense and all that. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go ask well, who had some shit on them. Um... I, pull out a I pull out a dagger from my pack, and I go, what, you need like something to cut with, or what, what, do you, what do you need a sword for? I just need the hilt. Uh, I'll, can I take that? Sure, and I hand over my dagger. Cool. I immediately now walk to outside of the shop, 
and basically around the corner. Uh, I, just as a clarification, is there anybody who can see me? I make a perception check. What the hell is that? I I don't I don't even know. Just one moment. Where the fuck is Percent Hunters? I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the other party members. Oh. There does not appear to be. Cool. I, as shadily and as, like, widely as possible, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cast the sword value. On the dagger. It... Why is this not working? You can do okay. it. Right. While he's doing that, can I offer a cigarette to the, uh, to the, to the card keep? Um, I'm trying to distract him as well. Kirk keep looks at you and goes, That's good. "Yeah, why not?" I give him a cigarette and, and I, then I let hers up. And she nods, she nods, thanking you. Thanks for the cigarette. Yeah. Business now then, I walk back in. Now then, my my dear sales rep, can we negotiate a little bit? I have a little bit. I have some shiny equipment. I'm willing to part ways with it if we can cut a deal for the horses and carts. Oh, that's why it didn't work. I mean, what are you trying to trade? I pull out a price. Oh, price like half frozen at the moment. I I pull out a nice shiny um, gold and ruby encrusted dagger. Uh, that is not how your spell works. Fine, fine. It's nice and sparkly. Is that better phrasing for it? Yeah. Forgive me for embellishing just a bit. It literally says what it does. It makes it shiny. That's not embellishing, because then if I told you what the price of the dagger would be, you'd be like, well, that's ridiculous for how fancy it is. Fine. I pull out a nice, shiny, sharpened, and slightly listening dagger. Is that better phrasing? Mm-hmm. She looks at and looks at you and goes, I don't really need a dagger. It's inventory for you to sell off. You can look at the craftsmanship. This looks fairly oh, well. I or look like I sell daggers. You look like you sell adventuring equipment. You look at her and see she Quite literally, literally, yeah, quite literally, only sells horses and wagons. The niche store. I, I look at the shopkeeper like, this is why I offered you the cigarette. Twenty gold for the dagger. She turns away from you and looks, uh, looks Sol in the eye and goes. 20 gold for the horse and cart. Oh. The horse and the cart? Okay. Oh, um, sorry. No, no, I, that, that was my fuck up. She, she was supposed to say 120 gold. 120? Oh. Yep. Uh, for the two horses and the cart? 120 for the two horses and the cart. It's not bad, though. And it's kind of like... Can I... Um, or... What, what, can I investigate the horses? Uh, you and in fact, can, can I, I'd like to ask uh, Kiri to investigate them with me. Okay. Any kind of... Not Kiri, uh, Vesrin. To, invest, uh, to <laughs> examine the horses, make sure they're good, healthy, strong, nothing's wrong with them. Any kind of faults we can find. Okay, uh, Vesrin, make either a nature or a medicine check. Um, not animal handling. You're checking the health of a horse. Regardless, I'm still helping him. Handling the animal. I'm still helping him. <laughs> Does he get advantage for that? Uh, he would. Uh, so as Vesrin is apparently handsily examining the horses, according to you. Oh. Uh, they seem healthy enough. I mean, they're not. Hugely muscular, but they'll do. They look like they survived the winter? They're a couple of years old. They've survived the winter in the past. How old is a couple of years? I ask I ask uh, Vestern how old does he think they are? 
I would wait here two, three years. It's at this point I go to the shopkeep and just ask, what would you be willing to haggle? He just completely ignores you. Uh, would I know if there's any other shopkeeps or any other like cart and horse sellers? Um, there are one or two around. But You're in the different, uh, Basically, the one, there's essentially one per main gate in the city. Per main gate, so are we like on the west side right, right now? You're or? on the south side because we're we'll heading south. And that's the closest. Yep. I I say that 120 is a bit steep. Um. Can I roll for? Persuasion to try to get it for one. Um, you can roll a persuasion check at disadvantage. Can I can I persuade with him and be like you know, let him know well, the the stuff that you do now can bring back many folds of gold in the future. I will have that help the DC slightly, but it would still be a roll at advantage. At disadvantage. Okay. While he does the uh, roll, can I, I would like to look at the other it's horses. 20. It's a 20. What do you say to, to them? Oh, 120 is a bit steep. We're having a harsh winter. Times are tough. How about 110? You're going to haggle over 10 gold? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> 112. Can I start haggling, or is this person not listening to me anymore? This person is no longer listening to you. Can I force them to listen to me? I suppose you could try. There, there well, are, are you going to try something? To certain things that you say. There are consequences to your actions. Yeah. A yeah, no, reasonable man. shopkeeper wouldn't keep listening to someone that's basically spouting bullshit. But you can certainly try, depending on what you're doing. Once, one ten, and the buff one punches the big one in the balls. Deal. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? I just kind of like look up at you. Yeah, I'll kick you in the balls uh, as a bonus if you uh, if you cut okay. down the gold. <laughs> one oh nine to have all three of them hit him in the balls. Done. <laughs> 100 flat. <laughs> and he, no, 105, and he hits himself in the balls. No, 100 flat. 100 flat if all of you hit him in the balls, including himself. And the little one uses the hammer. No, the hammer. Now, the hammer. The hammer is uh, special. It's named the Nutcracker for a reason. If we want to do that, that's going to be another 20 gold. That, it, it's the really Nutcracker is a witch. I was kind of like, for the I tell my chest, I just yell, it's legendary. I'll go as low as 90 for the hammer. All right. <laughs> Mia, you're up. The four of us and I. And I immediately cast whole person on. <laughs> oh, yes. Shit. Do you resist? Absolutely, I resist. Wisdom <laughs> saving throw. And JJ is held in place. Suddenly, you feel all your muscles stiffen up. Uh, totally okay. not like we could have made an illusion or anything, but hey, okay. <laughs> Lines up. Who's going first? <laughs> I would. Uh, I need to concentrate on this, so you guys are up. <laughs> um, is, is anyone looking at me? No, no one is looking at you right now. They're all looking at you. Okay, so as soon as I as soon as I hear an impact, I'm going to secretly cast minor illusion. Okay, so who's going first? Uh, how many key points do I want to spend? Oh, I mean, uh. <laughs> yes. Let's... Let's, Burn them all. Let's go ahead and uh sorry my friend, but it looks like the group is getting a, a really good discount and you guys are helping my pave my way there too, so I'm sorry. Um as as I as as 
Well, as, it, 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 oh, no. as it connects, as it connects, I'm doing minor illusion on his balls to make it sound like, like. Uh, <laughs> well, what? What would I have to roll to try to cast whole person when I see them try to, when I see you try to cast this? Uh, you could hold. <laughs> you could hold a whole person. I could hold a whole person. Wait, yeah, what? you could hold the spell. <laughs> wait, what are you trying to? <laughs> so. Wait, 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 Anthony, confirm for me. Do they get to re-roll on whole person every time they're hit? Uh, hold on. Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Uh. Wait, shit. Where is whole person information? I have it too. Where is it? No. Uh, at the end of at the end of each turn. Uh, oh, okay. At okay. the end of each turn, so, uh, target makes uh, a wisdom saving throw. So JJ, you take ten bludgeoning damage. Uh, oh there's like a, a sound of like like. Galthuck, from the minor are you illusion. doing anything else? Oh no, no. I, You're I, not using any key points. No, I apologize, my friend. I was so ready to roll a d100. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who's up next? I'll go. I'll volunteer. There we go. So, the proper way to inflict the most amount of pain as possible seconds. is a flick. Oh, you learned that too. Not after uh, what I, I just did. Volley dex check. <laughs> Roll me a d20. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, the AC of the left nut is 10. <laughs> I'm rolling, it, it's 16. <laughs> JJ, you feel a flick? You only take one more bludgeoning damage, but it hurts like a bitch. Someone targeted something specific, I see. Neo, <laughs> uh, you're the next. With the hammer. Can I try something? No, you're being held. I, I tell the shopkeeper I've dealt with plenty of perverts Wait, before. Wait, I have a question. Should I just hit like normal, or should I do like the whole, um... That is your question. The whole rage, <laughs> reckless attack. <laughs> right? what? No. I said we don't so really like, want to kill, kill him. him. I did that? What do you want to kill, kill him? him? Just, just give him a tap. <laughs> do I have a turn here? Okay. Uh, yeah, your turn's at the end of everyone else's. <laughs> to, to be fair, though, she shouldn't even ask. She should just do it because it's, I don't know. Oh, I'd see her character oh, no. just doing it. You take <laughs> There's no rage. There's no rage. <laughs> take another 11 of bludgeoning damage as the hammer swings low. <laughs> Can I do a minor illusion as it hits to make it just sound more of like a. You don't need <laughs> to. <laughs> and make it reverb. Ooh. Um, Vesrin. I'm gonna look over at the uh, shopkeeper and go. You knock the price down any if I throw flames at his dick. <laughs> Done. Eighty-five. Done. Oh, shit. Wrong spell, but here you go. Twenty-four. Oh, <laughs> you take a lot of fire damage. Your dick is lit a flame. Uh, you could make another wisdom saving throw to try. <laughs> As your turn ends, do try and uh, break out of the restraint of the whole person. <laughs> do I have any action whatsoever? No. It's it's to uh it's to uh. Your action is to try and break out. Break of the out. Spell. Hey, it's you did really it. Good, it's a really good spell. I'm just whole person is <laughs> insane. Uh, as you are able to force your will out, you fall to the ground, no longer frozen. But in quite a bit of pain. I just realized we all had advantage on our attacks there. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Because okay. you were also targeting a specific area. That's so true. It was. That's cancel. Okay. It was. Yeah. It was a normal. So, so we eighty-five done. gold. <laughs> yeah, eighty-five. I look over at Galfuck Vesserin and uh, Nia. Um, twenty, twenty-one in each. I'll throw in twenty-two. See, the thing is, though, is, uh, 
kind of don't it. have any money since I've come back. I'll pick. I'll pitch, I'll pitch it for him. About his dad. Uh, him. How about me and I look at Leva? How about we split his? Yeah, sure. Okay, that works. What? What? You're not having JJ pay for any? Oh, thank you. Uh, so Keep, no, he's, he's paid. paid. He's paid. He's paid. paid with his balls. It's okay. <laughs> he's paid. He, so he's as we're discussing, 40, he paid forty gold. As, as, as he's holding his cock, he just sees us <laughs> discussing his, that, that he doesn't need to pay. <laughs> JJ, can you make me a Constitution saving throw? <laughs> Yes, and? Okay. Uh, the pain just going up your groin to your stomach would be enough norm to make a normal person throw up everything. But you're able to hold it in. You're dealing with an elephant here. I can hold it together. I assume you don't say it out loud. <laughs> no. No, this is just my internal monologue to drive. <laughs> okay, so 22 um, gold for me. You're also not 100% sure if you can have kids anymore. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I can charm the person and make them believe they have kids. <laughs> oh. There is so much ethically wrong with that. Uh, That's anyway. fine. Anyway, I, get, I, I hand out 22 golds. That's my share. I uh, shall out 30. Wait, how much would my share be? Also 22? 21 for you. Oh, 21. Uh, okay. Yeah, I give you have my any screwing gold. abilities anymore? Um, here, fortunately, here, I no. Up, I, I, uh, I take out uh, some, uh, some of my ointment, and uh, I slap him on the face with it. <laughs> Your face, not in the so, boss. It's not in the boss. Uh, so he gets uh, 2d8 uh, plus, what was it again? Shit. Can you just give me the bottle and I'll apply it to the actual... It's Damn, it's more fun course. this way. <laughs> and also, it's it's also from a jar that JJ, I have. You essentially wipe the, the ointment off your face and shove it down your pants. Uh, 2d8 plus 2. 2d8 plus 2? Yeah. And you are also cured of any poison and disease. <laughs> Yay! So that's nine. Nine. Cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You don't get that. You did well, little one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, I, I, and I give head pats. <laughs> I'm just going to say it this way. Eshi will remember this. <laughs> Eshi will definitely remember this. <laughs> I'm going to roll performance to see if I'm like, try if I'm not, if I'm like laughing. Nineteen. I do. Do I withhold the laughter? Do you want to withhold the laughter? I think so. Oh, oh Leva has the biggest grin on her face right now. There's I'm, such a storm part of me that wants to see the fart on fire right now. <laughs> oh, uh, and sorry, sorry. Uh, just a just a refresher. How much gold do I pay again? I was splitting uh, for um uh, uh Galdux's uh, thing as well. So that's twenty. I mean, oh, that's we, we, hold on. Hold, hold on. Uh, I paid 22. Nia paid 21. Here, you put down 30. Yep. So I should also so, put down 30. Okay. Wait, no. 22, 40, that's 43. We're at 73. Someone overpaid. Oh. Um. We're at, down, we're at what now? Sorry? Put, da put down 11 and then give. 10 to Kiri. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So, done. So, it's the total ten. of five. Yeah, okay. So, Kiri, you get uh, 10 gold back. Okay. Right. So, you're handing her the gold. She just goes, probably the best deal I've made this year. Hmm. Something tells me my friends were more than happy to bargain. <laughs> Except for the big one. I think the little one got the best deal, to be fair. I, I say as I head out the door. <laughs> I just make this little like Oh you're outside already. Sound. Oh uh can I... <laughs> Hey DM, can I combine two cantrips really quickly? Uh you can I'll do them step I'm sorry? You can it would take you six seconds to cast each, but technically yes. That's fine. 
Because I like to mix message and vicious mockery just to like curse everybody out in silence. <laughs> uh, it's going to take you 12 seconds per target, but okay. That's fine. I'm willing to do this. Considering we started like a bit after midday, what time is it now? Uh, I would say it's probably around like 2 or 3. Okay. Also, I, order. Know, I, know, I would like all five of you to make wisdom saving throws. Wait. Huh? Wait, no, I'm stupid. I am targeting the entire oh. one by one. Um. So. Uh -huh. What about Galthic? Gal uh. I think Gal. Only yep. Leva fails it. Leva, you take three psychic damage. What do you say to her? Uh, hold on. Wait, I do. I, I use my reaction to give a plus four to that saving throw, but I don't know if that's enough, <laughs> actually. Uh, uh, it w would not be. Just saying, yeah, okay, yeah, it's DC not enough. Okay. Can I essentially emote just like the most scowl faced grin? Is that enough? Yeah, uh, you technically have to say something for vicious mockery. <laughs> That's fine. I'm basically just, just going to translate. <laughs> yeah, just, just like nonsensical sounds of anger. You know, like those yandere girls when they like mutter, like <laughs> mutter in silence. It's like, like just curse you out in in silence. Like that's just that's just messy you know, like, right now. <laughs> it's just pure teeth grinding and anger. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, uh, you take three psychic damage. <laughs> I just, I just grimace, and I, and after, after the pain goes, I just go worth it. <laughs> Get a small headache. Small uh, are headache. We, are, are we on the cart? <laughs> uh, are you guys getting on the cart? I, think I, yes. I will immediately no. upon getting onto the cart set up um my fuck where was it brewer supplies. <laughs> okay. What was um, the previous time that we had set for that? I believe three days. For what? For travel hey, time? Hey, Galfuck, like, you remember this shit, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember this. Do I believe? I, I want to. I want to see if I actually believe that. <laughs> If whether or not it would take three days to travel? No, if you actually remember any of what I'm talking about. Just based on the way you phrased that. Oh, no, I have no clue on what you're talking about. Like, are we talking about the drink? Or what? what tell me exactly what you're doing, and then I can... As I'm setting up the brewer's supplies onto the cart for basically distilling my own booze again. Oh, I, I, uh, the number of times I've poisoned you with it. Yes, uh, that that I had remembered. Yeah, but uh, it means that I am a dwarf, and the type of dwarf that I am, uh, poison does not affect me. Therefore, I've tried it every time, and it's done nothing. Yep. Mm -hmm. The fact that you had to say all of that makes me highly doubt that. But I'm gonna let you have that. <laughs> I was just, like, giving you a little bit. By now, you would have known the backstory of where I came from. And that, that it hadn't been affecting me every time that, you know, you've given it to me. Like. I'm just going to be suspicious of Galthic for a bit. Okay. I think oh. some brain damage has occurred. I mean, Except one. It's very possible. I will accept that from the... Hello! Uh, as a as a as a uh ner like a as a nurse, I would know that uh he's dwarves are uh, resistant to poison, right? You would, yes. And I, I go, I say to him, you do. All, it's pretty common now that all dwarves don't really can't be poisoned, really. So what about giants? Uh, giants do, but dwarves, dwarves has a weird constitution that just allows them for poison to just pass through like it's water. So what you're telling me is I shouldn't mix the poison I have into the brewery supplies for the whole party. 
At this point, only it's kind one of that can off. drink that is him. Oh, at this point, it's kind of pipe bomb. I'm like, oh, I can do that too. You so I have two people. Yeah. You want? Can... You you you're resistant to poison, little one. Yep. Why don't Why'd you think that time I met you guys, I was able to chug all that beer and I didn't get drunk? You want some then? As I pull out a flask of a couple of drops of green poison. I just thought you were a mini Darvich. I mean, uh... Hey. Mm, mm, what makes sense, Darvich? I guess. What's a Darvich again? Um... Don't worry. You'll find back out. into this again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a yes or a no to the Drake little one? Yes, I'm give me that booze. Are we taking off in the cart? I'm confused. I think so. I thought we were. Like, I thought we were on the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was kind of what I was thinking too. I think at this point, this is just shit talk while we we're traveling. All right. So we're we're traveling. Who's who's actually like piloting the thing though? The designated driver. Oh, right. That the designated fair. driver. It's what not you me. Think the designated driver is. Can we just can we have just been going on the car with no one driving for a bit? I think we were. I, I, I think it's safe to say we're just like getting our gear into the cart while we're just having this discussion. That's yep. fair. That's probably better. That's fine. Uh, I'll raise my hand and volunteer to uh, to have no, first. I, I tell you, I need to. Uh, I volunteer anyone but you. You need treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Are you I'm doing that okay. treatment? <laughs> Veteran goes, I am usually the driver, but perhaps it would be better for somebody to take the reins this time. Get more comfortable with it. You see I'll take it. Raise hand again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the uh I'll, Level says I'll take it and uh I take the rein from Veteran and sit on the coach seat. I, Are you guys stick, heading out? I stick next to Ashi. Yes, sir. I just kind of plop in the back. If you need to plot, I I yell back to um. Sorry, I, and I forgot your I forgot your character. Yeah, Solon. I'm sorry. Solon. Yeah, I yell I yell out to Solon. Um, if you need if you need any supplies like bandages or something, just let me know. I have a kit. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. And I, uh, try. I go. We. I head out our destination. Okay. Uh, as you head towards the south gate, you are stopped by the guards who look the look all of you over, look the card over. The one looking at you goes, "I would be." Uh, Careful out there. Been reports of some large multi headed beast. Any descriptions? Claws, wings? It looked almost draconic from what I heard. Draconic, you say? Oh. Thank you for the warning. We shall be careful. I'd certainly recommend it. And I had, uh, and I order horses to keep going. Okay. So, as you head out towards the area, I would like you make an animal handling check. Can I give her some pointers and uh, maybe give her advantage? I'd allow it. Hey. Okay. It seems the horses seem to be listening to you pretty well. Wow, you're a natural at this, Lava. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's been it's been a long time since I've uh handled uh horses, but it seems it seems uh, it's coming back to me a bit. That's good to see. I don't know that I'll be around forever. You say that as if you intend to leave permanently. Not 
permanently. I'm sure some of our paths will cross again, though I cannot say for certain that all of your paths will diverge in the same way. Level takes a look at him and uh, for a few seconds and then looks looks ahead and go, just says, I see, and stay silent. Just keep focusing on the keep just looking at the looking at the road while uh internally internally uh blocking what he said. Hi, are you guys doing anything particular? I am looking at Eshi, and I'm t going to say that I'm going to give you some healing. Don't interpret this the wrong way. I don't know when the last time a woman touched you, but this is not that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of look up in some confusion, and it's like, huh? Should I be concerned? Wait, wait, what are, what are you going to do to him? I, I, I can hopefully make the pain go away, a li at least a little bit. But I need to touch the area. I need an adult? I am an adult. I, um, can I look around? Is this the type of cart that has, like, an overhang fully covered? Uh, yes. Which or is all good, the... because there is a light bit of snow coming down. Cool. For shits and giggles, I'm going to drop my next bully and go full elephant. We didn't pick that up in the elephant. I sc I scream no at the top of my tiny tiny lungs, but it was too high pitched to catch. Just picture it. I what just are you scream screaming no about? I just scream no as he starts shape shifting into an elephant. <laughs> We're among friends. Um, this will be a public show, so may as well do it. Huh. Are you taking off your pants? <laughs> my God. You're right, thought Perry, and you just meant you were fat. <laughs> yeah, I figured, but you're also working. This for so, that's mean. You meant Periander? Eh, don't worry. You're either going to live long enough to know anyway, or die in some weird fashion. So I'm fine with this. Anyway, as I tried not to look, as I passed. <laughs> As they cast Q runes. Do I take my... Hang on. I first ask you, do I have to take my pants off? No. So you just put your hands down my pants? No, I he put just it... touches. <laughs> I just touch the area with your pants still on. <laughs> it's not a... <laughs> Stop trying to get a happy ending. <laughs> so, yeah, I have a fairly specific question. Oh, God. What's the sky looking like right now? Uh, well, you would have to look out of the cart, but it's slightly cloudy. No, no, come on. What what do the clouds look like? They're I'll be here for, for a minute. Uh, they are pretty much covering the entirety of the sky at this point, with just a light bit of snow coming down. Does one look like a, like a unicorn? Sure, buddy. Sure, it does. I focus. I focus hard on my class. It literally takes six to. seconds for her to do this. You do know that, right? And okay, that's the longest six seconds of his life. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since a woman touched him there. Who said a woman's ever touched him there? God, <laughs> JJ's having a lot more fun than he thought. But oh yeah, you heal for seven. <laughs> yes. I, um. Uh, uh. Thank you very much, nice lady. At this point, I'm gonna reach You're over, welcome. grab his cack, and cast Q runes myself. <laughs> <laughs> Vesper leans over you, Solon, and just grabs onto his 
like not like even shook. gentle. <laughs> just like gripping. That being said, JJ, I need you to do me a favor. Mm-hmm. I need yes. you to roll me a D twelve. <laughs> what? Uh, can I roll you a D twenty? No. <laughs> It's pretty fucking impressive, Vesrin. <laughs> I've seen his cack. <laughs> no, you didn't. He never he never undisguised. This is true. Even in the sauna? Yeah. I could have sworn I you did the, at one point. I held costume the entire yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, JJ and the Af- and Afri were the only ones that didn't get naked. <laughs> at this point, I just kind of start like frantically like smacking at um at Leva's back. I'm like, Leva, no! <laughs> he's done with each other. <laughs> Yes, I'm... Wait, you'd have to reach past JJ and Solon. <laughs> I would like to without. Them. I, I would like to without them. looking at Solon. Yeah, like, I, I, I have to the now. <laughs> I'm best friend. Then leans back. And goes, really? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's too much talking at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Nia first. <laughs> I'm just kind of like crawling over. Then he gets away, but I'm just feeling like. Leva, they're doing naughty things! JJ's too young to get pregnant! Leva? Upon hearing this, <laughs> I don't turn around to look at what's going on. I just try and grab Nia, <laughs> and I pull her to where I'm sitting, and I put put her on my lap, and I just, like, just say, I just tell her, don't, don't, no, don't, just forget everything you saw, and just, <laughs> we're, we're, just keep me company. Just let, just let me know if you see something weird, okay? <laughs> <laughs> ignore, ignore those idiots. Vesrin, <laughs> uh, what were you doing? Vesrin then leans back and goes, "Just as hung as your other truck, I see." You just hear like this little scream. Their trip has just begun. I'd like to point out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Is anyone else doing anything as the cart travels? I ask I ask JJ if it's the same size first as the trunk for all elephants. I have absolutely no idea how to answer that question, actually, as I've never seen another elephant. <laughs> um, I look over at Vesrin for like a confused glance. Do you know? No, but it would be an interesting thing to find out. Can't say Can I'm not doing I... elephant. Can I take a hot shower? Where would there be a hot shower right now? <laughs> I am very willing to cast some water magic into the cart right now. If you have person in a station, you can clean yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. I was gonna so, say if you did if you did summon water into the cart, I was I, I was about to just pull slave everyone off the cart. <laughs> I'm gonna both cast my mask back on to assume my form and precipitation to um just make myself feel a bit more clean. I feel just a tad bit highly violated over the last like, hour. One, you have uh, one more treatment to go through. <laughs> do I know? You do. After that, I'll have to take a rest. As I cast Cure Wounds again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, it's a max roll. <laughs> oh, I am now officially overhealed, I guess. <laughs> how are they feeling? <laughs> you know what? Hey, DM, how, how am I not feeling? I'm sure they're feeling much better than they were. <laughs> As I now need to take a short rest to block this from my memory and get my spell slots back. <laughs> um, I have no words. I am left speechless and sitting in the corner with my uh, with my flute, kind of just like very quietly whispering to myself. Definitely holding his flute. Definitely holding my flute. I did not need to know that information. I'd like to specify, Eshi, 
said, my plan. You made yourself appear as, as an oaf, and I thought that was part of the plan to get us a better deal. I wasn't expecting the hammer. <laughs> uh, you just hear me, like, faintly yell from the front, Sorry! You weren't yeah. were you also expecting the whole person? <laughs> that was a, I think that was a good flourish. I had to sell it, you know. The best friend then goes... <laughs> When you, but you're not complaining about the flames. Did you like the flames? <laughs> <laughs> this Life is where Right, can we settle this episode? Uh, Did you like the, the elephant? Flames? The elephant trunk. The Did hot you, elephant you, trunk. The elephant <laughs> in the room. <laughs> Actually, does not respond to the the flames question. By the way. <laughs> By the way, do I get a short rest? <laughs> uh, yeah, while you're sitting in the cart. Okay. You guys continue driving for a few hours as the sun begins to set. Are you going to continue moving, or are you going to stop and make camp? We can keep moving. Oh, also, oh, don't forget, I have the fancy new totem thing, so we are now extra speed. That you are. Yeah. Lesser in looking at the sky goes, I would feel safer if we made camp. It wouldn't be much longer till we reach the Feywilds, and I'd prefer to be rested for that. Very well. Uh, I ordered uh, horses to stop, and um, yeah, I just uh, get ready to set camp. I'd like to do a uh, I'd like to go like check around for like whether or not this is a safe area um well make an investigation check i will roll one of these a psionic knack so that's a 24. between the trees and the light snow it seems like it's a decently safe place. I mean, it's Obstagrad. No place is 100% safe, but... What about for the horses? Like, are they going to attract... Uh, can we hide them anywhere? Uh, you could hide them off to the side in the trees with you. Okay, and that's a success, by the way, just for yes, tracking the dice. Success. Okay. So, uh... After I do my rounds, I say that this seems like it's safe enough and that we can hide the horses and the trees. Alright. Uh, I lead the horses and the cart over to um, where we are currently, like on the, to the right, I guess. In this area, wherever. <clears throat> I can't move the horses, so... <laughs> Yeah. Um. All right. Let me let me do that. All right. Uh. I. Are you guys doing anything else specific to set up for camp? Getting the fire going. Setting up bed rolls. Does the surrounding area look safe? As I'd like to investigate it. Um. I, I just did the rounds. Can I? Just, can I just repeat what I just said? Yep. Okay. yep. Uh. I, I, I already took a look around. It looks pretty safe. Still gotta be able to keep an eye out for the wildlife. We can cat. We can set up a couple of fires. So if anyone's attracted to the flame, they can have a few to potentially go to, lowering our chances of wildlife. Quick question: Is this a cliff? Like. This thing, or like, uh, it's a small cliff. It's not very. There's not very much there. Okay. Does Solon respond to my statement? I do think it'll help. <clears throat> as long as they don't be back to us. I'll tr go on a little trek and set up like three fire, uh, three fire pits in like surrounding areas. Okay, so you spend the time to set up some fire pits. 
Uh, I want you to make a survival check for that. Alright, doesn't take very long. You're able to f set up a pretty decent fire with the tinder that you find around. Um, you think it'll probably last the night? At this point, it's gotten completely dark. The stars are out. And <clears throat> you have to make your decision of what you want to do. Is this directed towards? All of you. I mean, yeah, we're, I mean, we're just setting camp. Uh, like, uh, we're getting, I guess we're getting ready to sleep. Uh, and before we actually do go to sleep, I would like to, uh, burst ritual cast, uh, well, about 10 minutes before we do go to sleep, I would like to ritual cast alarm. Okay. And create a 20 feet, 20 foot cube. Easy enough. 20, 20, and then I cast that uh, four more times. Uh, not ritual, just uh, using all my spell slots. Okay. Easy enough. Is there anything else anyone else is doing? Are we going to camp outdoors or does someone have something for that? I do recall that we did find at one point a, uh, a cave. Have we passed that yet, Vesterin? Mm -hmm. I'll take a look at the area and see if I recognize it. I'm going to help him uh, kind of look around and see if we can find that again. I believe it would be the safer of the two places. As if you recall, you, uh, you met a friend the last time. Would that friend still be here? I mean, I can't imagine them just staying here. Well... No, dead friend would stay here, as they are a polar bear. I... You have I made hear... friend polar bear. Well, sort of. I convinced the polar bear that we did not want to hurt it or its children. Ah. I see. Don't worry, Galthic. If anything happens, I have some tricks to keep us safe at night. Oh, I have been setting up a perimeter of alarms. If it, if there's anything that do sneak by, uh, around us, uh, we I will be I will be notified. And if anything does happen, I can take care of it. Besides, sleeping in the snow isn't that bad. You get cold and wet. So, uh, Jim, uh, would he need a roll to see if he recognizes the area? Uh, that would be a survival check. And with me helping him, can I help him? I would allow that. You would get advantage. Um, you do somewhat... Oh, wait, wait, no, that... No, that's actually... Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was still good. waiting for Vesterin. Yep, Vesterin. Is it a, is it a survival roll? Yeah, yeah survival. survival. Okay, roll. okay, my bad, I didn't hear that part. Five. Twenty-five. Let's go. Uh, so you do recognize the area. You guys have actually passed the cave. Gotcha. Due to the increased speed that 
ironically enough, the tiny yeah. feet in your party gave. Um, oh yeah, right. <laughs> we're actually much farther than we would have been by now, because of uh, Nia. So it would be a trek backwards. Mm. That'd be safer and more efficient just to stay here. Not to mention, Leather's alarms have already been set up. I look over at Leva, and I say, "I've heard, I've heard stories of of magic users creating sanctuaries or or areas to hide from the elements. Would you be capable of such magic?" I've heard that too. Unfortunately, I have, I have that, not. Actually. I have not. I have not learned uh, those spells yet. Hopefully in the future I do uh, find that. I mean, hopefully in the future I can, but at the cur at the current moment, at my current level, I cannot. How about you, Vesran or Eshi? Nothing for me. Forgot I've been muted. This is the point in which just hearing the constant chattering. <laughs> And she gets just a tad annoyed and just casts Tiny Hut. If you guys want in, come on in. Oh, that uh -huh. looks inviting. Let's... Oh, Bartik. You'll see me go into the Tiny Hut. So what is this magic called? What does the Tiny Hut look like? It, it, it's Tiny Hut. It's what? Tiny Hut. Well, it, it's large for you, I guess, right? Okay, but that's not descriptive. Like, what does a hut look like aside from tiny or uh, large? What color are you making it, JJ? Let's make it neon slime purple. Okay, uh, it looks like a neon slime purple bulb. Okay. A little conspicuous, but okay. Mm. I mean, it's. Literally made of energy, and I'm assuming I'm oscillating at a slight weird thing, so I'm sure that's fine. JJ's a flamboyant man. Mm -hmm. Do you not want a purple house? He is one of those things. Might bring us a bit, might bring us unwanted attention, but. Mm -hmm. That's fine. If. Enough people complain, I will change the house color. Perhaps a shade of or can you make can you make it like a white or gray? Can you convince me? Uh not going to sell it, but okay, sure. Um, let's go that okay, path. okay. Um because you know, that there's predators and bandits in these parts. I heard talks of a bear. <sighs> fine, 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 fine. I, with a weird grunt, essentially change the color of the hut to the uh, snow white. It seems to almost disappear into the snow entirely. But you still see the entrance, yeah? Yeah, uh, it there's not an entrance. You guys can walk through it. You walk it's through the wall. You walk through the wall, rather. Just leave, and I will let you in. Kind of like a certain book that doesn't technically exist. I don't know what exactly he's talking about, but okay. Don't worry about. It. So. Are you all ready? Yes, sir. I'll take watch when it's a bit darker. I'm more adept. Okay. In the night. I thought with Tiny Hut we don't have to have any worries. We need to watch the horses. <sighs> I'm going to be outside. I, I say uh, you guys can rest inside. I'm going to stay with the horses. Is Just the horse not a medium-sized creature? It's a large. 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 Oh, I see. So, it begins to get a little bit darker. Solon, are you staying up alone? Uh, I thought it was Leva doing it first. Ah. Well, yeah, I, yeah I'll uh, I'll go first watch, and uh, yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, let them make a perception check then. The first fun. few hours go by, and the sounds of the night are not something you're used to. You've been in the city for too long at this point. You hear wolves howling in the distance. The wind blowing all around you. Thankfully, the snow still limited to just bits and pieces, light and fluffy all around. Your vision is a little bit... is slightly blocked as the snow has begun to pile up on the hut. So the white hut is now becoming even more white. But nice. <laughs> nothing seems to notice you. You do notice a few deers seemingly walk past. And what looks to be a small-ish white bear without noting anything. Even noting the horses, seemingly. A few hours pass, and you begin to feel your eyes grow heavy. Who are you waking up to do the next watch? Uh, I'm assuming we would have uh, order, uh, uh, organized this, but... You can wake me up. Okay. I will wake up Solon. Sol Okay. Solon. Well, Leva, how do you wake him up? Er, how do I wake her up? Uh, I go inside, um, identify where she's sleeping, and I... Uh, uh, yes, okay, hold on. I'm being attacked by cat. Oh. Ah. Sabertooth tiger, got it. <laughs> Running several of them. <laughs> uh, I identify hey, where cat. she's sleeping, and... uh. I kneel down, give her a nudge, and go, your turn. And uh, I head outside and go into my bedroll. Um, I would like to point out that the cat rolled a six on its attempt to slash at you. <laughs> oh, thank God. My AC is four higher than, five higher than that. <laughs> uh, you should squish it. With 11. Um, <laughs> you would have with an advantage? Oh no! <laughs> and done one slashing damage. <laughs> um, so. Um, how how long is the watch, by the way? That depends on how long you're willing to stay up for. I guess we'll go Everyone for needs first. eight hours of sleep, so. There are six Am I days. allowed to sleep while using while using this? Mm-hmm. It's not concentration. Leave, you just can't leave the bubble. Yeah. I see. Okay. Um, so... I can see clearly around us, right? For the most mm -hmm. part. Again, the snow has begun to pile up slightly and kind of stick to the hut, but... Um... Because I want to make, like... I'm going to make a silent image of, like, trees kind of, like, around this area. 15 foot cubes just to hide the horses in the cart and parts of the bubble. So, I guess, like this. Okay. And I'm gonna make this image last 10 minutes concentration, but I'll keep recasting it. Okay. Uh, just to make it look like uh, it's just that, that there isn't this alcove, it's just trees, it's like densely packed trees. Make a perception check. Yep, I can see in the dark. Nineteen. How long are you staying up for? Um. Well, how long was Leva up for? Approximately. Oh yeah, that is a quick question. That's that's you, and something to uh, for you to answer, Leva. Um. I guess I was I was away for about maybe I would say like two hours probably. Okay. Okay, so I guess I go for the first two hours. How am I feeling? Well, as you have been sitting there watching out, 
the animals around you, the bugs, the birds, the wolves, have gone strangely silent. And you swear you hear off in the distance loud thumping. And, but I don't see it. You don't see anything yet. An hour and a half passes, then two hours. Make a constitution check. Okay. Check or save? Check. You feel like you could probably stay up for another hour or two. Okay, I'll keep doing that. Uh, continuing to, like, focus on the silent image. To conceal the horses and us. Okay. Make another perception check. A seven. As the night goes on, silence continues. You hear the thumping stop and start as time passes. Another hour gone by, and you can swear off in the distance you see something large looming over the trees. You getting closer? Based off the sound, likely. Um, um, am I able to see it through the trees, or is it just a feeling that it's looming through? You see a shape off in the far off in the distance. Um, would Love have told me where the alarms are placed? It's set generally all around uh. Well, the it's the mark, but uh, uh, like I would, I would, I just said, or it's uh, we, I set up a perimeter of alarms. Basically, would my character know where it is, just not to trip them. Like, is there like some sort of like line in the snow or something that I can tell? Ah, uh, there is not. No, I probably would not have done that. No. Um. In that case, I nudge Leva awake. I apologize and say that there's something As nearby. As you walk in to nudge Leva awake, you see Vestrin already up. Oh. Oh, well, I tell Vestrin what I see. Hmm. Um. And I ask, I what do you that. think um, we should do? I want to go. I want to go scout what that is, but I don't know where the traps are, where the alarm traps are. I suppose. How far in the distance did it seem? How far with the twenty-seven? Can, what would I estimate? A little bit hard to tell, even from that. If at least a good mile off, probably. It's about a mile away. Uh, can I at least point in the direction? Uh, it seems to be coming from the east. So a mile east, so he... uh, towards here. I'm sorry, west, west. That's my bad. There. Yep. Yep. This one right. kind of cooks his head. Hey, do you think it would be wise to travel this late towards the direction of a potential threat? And not bunker down and defend an area. Information is a valuable tool. We don't know what we're facing or if it's intelligent. Very true. I'm focusing on the image on the image of the trees to conceal us. I'd have. We're, was Vesterin actually Vesterin slightly not within the image? Is he? He is slightly not within the image. Yeah. I I, I instruct Vesterin to push to to touch the tree in front of him. He does. As you, can see, as you can see, this is an illusion I conjured in order to conceal us. Vesper cannot see through the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> the technicality. 
<laughs> That's one way to get around it, yeah. <laughs> I see. Well, how long have we been resting for? And would this be something that we needed to wake everyone for? I've been up for about four hours, based when on you the direction of the stars. Would need rest more than the most. I could rest during our travels. True. Okay, in your watch, uh, if it gets the sound gets any closer, uh, wake me up without hesitation, and I'll conjure the image. He gives a nod. As I uh, drop concentration because I go to sleep. Esterin, walking out, uh, waits a solid 15 minutes to make sure that everyone is asleep. And then takes a moment to conjure his wildfire spirit. Where do you summon them? That is a good question. Where do you summon them? Um, I'm probably knowing that the alarm has been set, <laughs> summon them a decent way out. Okay, fair enough. Walking over to get a little bit closer. I kneel down and go, Ember, would you please wake up the roguelike female in there once I have left sight? Ember nods. He gives a smile, walking back into the hut, dropping a note. Uh, in Galthuk's lap, walking back out, dropping another note into the car, and exiting the alarm, which I don't believe triggers it. Oh, you already triggered it, my guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lever, Multiple you are times. <laughs> as the alarm rings in your head. Oh, because it's separate instances. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I just see Vestering just leaving for some reason. Mm -hmm. The cat is sitting, waiting patiently. <laughs> and Vestering turns and looks at the party, or the, the hut in which the party is lying. You can barely see it. <laughs> he gives a bit of a bow and says, Till next time, friends and heads back down the road. Roll me a d20, Vestrin. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Do I see all of that? Uh, you do. You also... Vestrin... Only a perception check. Eight. Yeah, you. I said K. What did you say? Bring it up there. Uh, Vesrin, as you begin to walk away, you hear the loud crunching of trees being crushed. And you turn to the west to see several heads poking out at the trees, staring right at you. I need everyone to roll for initiative. Uh, We're still in the sleep. sleep. Yes. I oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Wait, but about... in the box. Shit is about to go down. Is 
Uh, well, so you're asleep, mm -hmm. Laura. Solon. Solon, yeah. It has, it has the wrong fucking name on it. Whatever. Uh, so, you're asleep. Galthuk, you're asleep. Nia, you're asleep. Mm -hmm. And now it's the Hydra's turn. Of course it's the Hydra. Oh, As boy. the Hydra rushes forward. 30, 35, 40. Stopping near you and proceeds to bite at you five times. Wait, bite at who? Vesrin. Okay. Vesrin, what is your... Vesrin, so does a 17 hit? Yes. Does a 29 hit? Yes. Does a 14 hit? No. Does a 20 hit? Yes. Does a 15 hit? No. So, you take 35 points of damage. Oh my god. As the Hydra begins just snapping at you over and over. Leva! You are You're the only one who's awake. You hear crashing and see a giant... Draconic Hydra charge directly at Vesrin. Five heads snapping in the wind. Each one snapping at him, biting and causing blood to stain the white snow. What do you do? Okay. Uh, hmm. Well. Uh. He goes back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, first, one question. Quick question. Is it very windy right now? It's decently windy, yes. Like, would you say it's like uh, less than or more than 10 miles an hour? Like, Make is it like... Intelligence check. Less than 10 miles an hour. Okay. Also, uh, Veldis, if you'd be so kind as to change the music, I don't think this one's so yep. fitting anymore. Yep, will do. Uh, okay. All right. And one more quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, because I was awoken while resting, I didn't get a full rest. But can mm -hmm. I get? Can I say I got a short rest instead? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So in that case, uh, that allows me to recover some spell slots at least. So what spells did you use yesterday? I used all alarms. <laughs> oh yes, yes. So thankfully, uh, I can arcane recovery real quick and get three first level spell slots back. Um, and I am going to. Uh, immediately cast a uh, fog cloud onto its head. A twenty foot radius uh, fog thing, which is basically his entire body. And okay. I poke my head inside the hut, and I say, and I yell out, "Uh, wait, we couldn't hear you there." I say, uh, wake up! Uh, Vesrin is attacked! Um, Vesrin has been attacked, wake up! <laughs> okay, everyone has been woken up by that. Jesus and... Christ, what kind of alarm is this? Is that your turn? Uh, that and I, uh, move... Uh, hold on. That's what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Wait. Oh, well. I rush up to behind him. Actually. 
uh, as I am immediately up. Uh, fuck. Do I see Vesseran from my position? Yeah. Snow's not that bad right now. You this... see Vesseran bleeding, probably holding his arm with a shadowy giant figure in a large fog cloud right in front of him. Cool. Uh, right off the bat, wait, what distance is this? Uh, does that even matter? Do, 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 30 feet. God damn it. Uh, this is a 10 foot radius box, right? What is? My tiny hut. Uh, yes. Can I walk five feet basically to the corner while still being in it? I will note, tiny hut is a ritual spell. So you can let it drop and then recast it later. You don't have to use a spell slot for it. That's what that means. Though it would remove, you know, a potential safety area. No, I want to hold on to it. That's why I'm saying, can I walk five feet from basically the middle of the radius to, like, the corner of it? Yes, you would be essentially walking over uh, Veld, but you're walking over Solon, but yes. I'll accept that. <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> I, I healed you. <laughs> I'm not stepping on you, I'm just stepping over you. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Basically, I need the five feet to be able to get within uh, casting range to give sanctuary to my dear friend Vesserin. Let's see. Uh... Beyond that, I is the rest of the party fully awake? I hope so after I yell at them to wake up. <laughs> cool. Uh, it is at this moment I tell them, ready up, I need to drop this uh, safety net because we need to get Vesserin back in here or we fight that Hydra. You have two choices. Uh, I think we have, I think we're going to have to go with the latter, unfortunately, but that's outside the game, sorry. <laughs> you're up. Vesseran, I will note you have a halo. I don't know, I'm stumped. To be real. Get back to the box. Do I know if the box is going to withstand a Hydra attack? Um, make an Arcana check. <laughs> we have to fight it. We're going to lose our horses if we don't. Yeah. We don't really have a choice. Mm. That's when uh, the, the, hmm? the tiny hut is essentially indestructible unless something it has something to dispel magic as long as Eshi stays inside of it. The horses, on the other hand, cannot stay in. Hmm. All right, then. Um... Thinking about this, I am going to use my bonus action to command the cat to move 10, 20, 20, 20, 30, and cast Fiery Teleportation. Who are you grabbing? Me and Leva. Wait, why Nia? Yeah, why me? No, Leva. 
Lever. Yeah. He said himself and Lever. She, uh, me and Lever, yeah, not Nia. You wouldn't be able to reach Nia and me anyway, so. <laughs> Where are you teleporting to, though, is the question. Right here. Has the Hydra seen us yet? I feel like that. I mean, it took several bites out of Vesteren, so I'm assuming. The only one it's actually seen is Vesteren. That's my point. No, in... Immediately after uh, the Hydra attacked Vesteren, I cast Fall Cloud on it, so... He's blind right now. <laughs> Solon. Please do the smart thing. He's blind inside the fog cloud, right? As far as you know. Um. Da, 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 da. Well, obviously, I get up. That's ha that's half your movement. Yeah. Um. God. Um. Mm. I gotta think this through. <laughs> You are still in Cove. There is Dome. Hydra has Shadow. I see that, uh, it looks like Nia... Not Nia, so... Vestrin and Love are running back, right? Yep, you see them teleport. Actually, wait, Fiery teleport... Ta oh, you yeah. aren't close enough, were you? Yeah. No. That would keep his halo, right? Range 30 feet. Yes, it would. He did not attack. He ordered his cat to do something. 30 feet. I can't do that. Um, let's see. 15. Nope. Uh, it can kind of hide the horses. I'm going to cast Silent Image around the horses. And uh, is there like a cliff next to us? Uh, there is a cliff behind you. I make it look like the cliff extends and covers the horses using Silent Image. Okay. And that's my action. Um, my bonus action. Um, what's the range of our bubble? 10 feet. 10 feet. Centered on the lawn, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh. I gotta read whether it's an action or a bonus action to cast a certain skill. Sorry. Um. I'm trying to use this skill. I don't know if that's an action or not. As an action. Yes, it is. Okay. Yep. Can't do that. Um, in that case... As a bonus action... I will... Get to the edge of the bubble and just hide. Using my cunning action to hide. Okay. I'm still inside of the bubble. I don't know if you need me to roll stealth. Uh... I would say roll stealth, yes, for hiding. The interior of the bubble is not. There's visible. a little bit of the shrubbery inside, based on where we are. Basically, I want to step right outside the bubble just to uh, keep an eye on what's going on, but like enough that I could just sidestep into it. Okay. Galthuk, you're up. I awake, finding the note on my head, on my on my lap, and kind of look up. Uh, grabbing it, putting it into my my pocket. Uh, I kind of look around, and I step forward just to the edge of the bubble. On the inside of the bubble. Okay. Uh, is this the bubble, or is it right here? It's. Uh, it's basically a circle centered on um uh, Milan's character. Yeah. Okay, so like right here would be fine for the bubble, right? 
It is yep. radius yeah. or diameter, Tom? Radi uh, is radius. Yeah. Okay. So 20 foot diameter. So I am going to step right here. And if I see the Hydra coming towards us to the point where it's within my reach, uh, I'm going to ready an attack. Oh, can't th we can't attack through the bubble, just as a heads up. Neo. Neo. Right. Um, we're all in the idea of hiding, correct? That is up to mm -hmm. you. Right. Fortunately right. for everyone, fortunately for everyone, I am little. And so I find, um... We are next to the cart, right? Like, I'm still, like, in the cart, technically? Mm-hmm. Um, would there be any, like, blankets or anything like that on the ground? Uh, Put on the floor of it? would have been laying in sleeping cots, so essentially blankets, yes. Okay, um, I kind of, like, throw them over myself and bunch them up and, like, lay flat, so I'm hiding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, um... I guess then you should make a stealth check. Um, balls. Did it work? Okay. You don't know. What do you mean I don't know? Don't worry you're about covered. it. You're under a blanket. You don't know what's going on outside. So, Alec, no! Hissing. It's going to take a step forward, and another one, and then another one, and it is going to lash out at Vesrin. Let's do one attack at Vesrin first. It, Vesrin does have the halo. Ah, that's a good point. It would have to make a wisdom save. Is it Which is a seven. Okay. Uh, so, Nia! Yeah. yeah? I'm sorry, not Nia. Leva. Yep. Oh. Does an 11 hit? <laughs> that meets. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I use. Uh... You don't have to. It rolled a nat one. In fact, it rolled two nat ones on that attack. Does it have oh, reach? Okay. It has 15 feet of reach. Oh, okay. Uh,. Vesrin, does a 25 hit your cat? Yes. Your cat takes 22 piercing damage. Cat down. As it bites into, and the cat poops into a puff of fire. Uh, Nia, does a 14 hit? Not Nia, I'm sorry. Lever, does a 14 hit? 14 does hit, yes. You take 17 piercing. Ugh. Does a 29 hit? Oh, 29 does hit. You take 18 piercing. Oh, God. So I take 17 and 18? Yeah. And does a 14 hit? <laughs> yeah. You take 22 uh, wait, piercing. Wait, no, uh, I shield that. Okay. You shield the last one. Okay. Uh, I didn't think he. I didn't think he was gonna do that much fucking damage. <laughs> it has. It's a Hydra. It has five heads. Uh, so you take thirty-five piercing damage and then shield the last one. Well, uh, I really didn't want to use that spell slot, but okay. Speaking of Leva, you're up. Uh, yay! Uh, bleeding profusely. Um. Oh, yes, Leva, please make a con save. Yeah, that's true. I need to do it twice, right? Mm hmm Well, it's done. <laughs> okay. Ignore me, I'm being done with buns. Okay, um, well... Uh, I really didn't want to use that spell slot, but fuck. Alright, um... Uh, 
Uh, Fog Cloud is gone. Fog Cloud is an action. Fuck, what do I do? Get to the bubble. <sighs> okay, um... I am going to... This is a very risky move. Um... Go... I am going to, uh... No, I can't disengage. Why, I can't disengage. Alright, well... Yeah. Quick question. Oh, sorry, just, I'm I'm just reading a lot of things right now. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, when is that start of my next attempt? So shield is gone too. Okay, yeah, I have to disengage, and I'm going to move into uh the tiny hut. Um, where I, uh, yeah, that's what I do for now. Yeah, that's all I can do right now. Okay. Uh, Eshi, you're up. Uh, ha, ha. so, question. Answer. I'm assuming, can I cast long distance spells out of the bubble? Um, you cannot, actually. Can I point my finger out of the bubble? You, you're not able to attack out of the bubble. Cool. Can I heal out of the bubble? It depends on the spell? A creature that can hear me. I would allow it. Oh, actually, let me... No, no, you can't. You can only do it in the bubble. <sighs> well, cool. Um, how how are the how is the illusion for the horses looking? What like horses? an illusion. You can't see them. They just vanished, and now there's a mountain. There's a mountain there, or a cliff cool. con that's connected to the real cliff. Yep. Cool. I'm just gonna intuition that that's fine, and I'm not gonna question that. Uh. Cool. I guess the only things I can do would be ready actions. Um, I'm going to do it this way, then. I'm going to ready... I'm going to ready entangle for if that creature gets close enough to the point in which he might damage or... Essentially, I'm going to cast entangle if the bubble drops. Uh, the bubble will only drop if you drop it or leave it. I, basically, I'm saying as soon as it drops, the, the entangle will be cast. Okay. Uh, of note, again, by preparing a spell, even if you don't cast it, you still use the spell slot. I know. Alright. Just making sure. Um, Vesrin! Vesrin is going to look Back at the party, look at this Hydra, and... Vesrin still does have a halo. I am going to expend my last wild shape to... Or I'm going to... First things first, I'm going to use my free action to yell back. Um, I'll draw its attention off you. And can I um, yell back instantly, even though my turn is ended? Yeah, that would be a free action. The its only attention is on you. Get in the damn invisible bubble. That's right, exactly. And one minute wild shape into an elk with a movement speed of thirty-five. And which is a bonus action, correct? Yes. Can't be large inside the bubble. He's not in the bubble. Mm -hmm. Mind you, this elk still has a handbook. 
And I am going uh, to go... Have I given you the option to control an elk yet? What do you mean? I You've never I, given me any option to control anything. I'm just not here. Thinking. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you be a deer. There you go, Kiri. Do you see the deer? Well, let's see. There is no deer on screen. No, I do not. Wait, why did that not work? Can be edit and control. Oh, that's why. Kiri, do you now see the deer? Yes. Okay. You are now a deer. Oh, but I saw his move speed of 50. Fuck yeah, better. Yep. I like deer. Um, and I am going to move. Hundred feet. Are you disengaging? Oh, that would take an action. Fuck. Yes, I'll disengage and then I'll move fifty feet. I would like to point out there's also a mirage available for a large creature. Hmm. Don't want to meta game, but that's not a good idea. True. Okay. okay. So you're going 50 feet. Yep. That's. It's right here. I don't want to lose the spot. You can move the deer. I know, but I would have to scroll up to move the deer. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Sweet. And that's it. Okay. Um. Thankfully, you disengaged, or it would have taken five opportunity attacks on you. Uh, that being said, you are now up, Feld. Um, question. Is the fire still going? Uh, the fire is still going, yes. Or would it have been snowed on? No, the fire was in the hut, I believe. Where's the hut, exactly? My apologies, I meant to draw a cube around me. Um... Actually, Alec, can you just draw a 20-foot cube circling me? Yep. Already on it. I believe it's... Yeah. Okay, so... Radius 10, so... I believe about that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, so the fire isn't visible, right? Yep. Uh, it is not currently, no. Okay. I'm still concealed, right? Yes. Yeah. As far as you know, at least. Okay, I'm going to... S what, does the Hydra look like it's looking at the deer? It does. All well, five heads. Y three of its heads, two of its heads are looking towards where its other prey disappeared to. Okay, I'm going to step outside, again, concealed, because I'm sneaking. I was hidden from last round. So, as such, right? Covered by the trees. Small target, it's dark, sneaking. And as a action, I will cast Minor Illusion. Um, 30 feet, uh, 30 feet in, that, in the direction of the deer. Can you cast so like here. multiple minor illusion? Minor illusion isn't concentration. Yes, it's not concentration. Uh, silent image is concentration. This is a minor illusion. And I'm making the spell sound like Leva is screaming faster from that direction. <laughs> huh? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. So Leva's voice coming from here. 
the, this direction. Okay. And then I proceed to go back in the hut, and I'm standing in the illusion with the horses. Okay. Well played. Okay. That's pretty smart. I like that. Go fuck. All I see is my friend being chased by a hydra. You see a blue form around me as my cheek kind of shows that I'm running. And I'm going to do a an attack. I don't know. Okay. Honestly, if anyone has the strength to do this, it's probably Galthuk. <laughs> Do I see this, by the way? You do. Uh, before anything else, I'm just gonna. Oh, fire sure. you. One. And you can't. That, fire. You oh. can't do that. Right. That one. No. Uh, that hits. All right. Uh, you want me to re-roll it or just go with the one above it? Uh, it's it's fine. The second one works. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna also spend a key point. Roll in a D100. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Come on, 99. Go 99. As you hear one hit, poof. hello there. Um, you're not going to believe this, but I actually did roll a 99. Oh. oh. Yeah. But it's own Mad Magic Frenzy only goes off if it rolls a hundred. Oh, Aww. man! That's big sad. Well, I'm gonna spend a. Well, the, that key point is for me to do the flurry of blows, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, By so way, I'm gonna you can actually roll damage on the first attack. That's all I was asking. Did you want me to roll it on the bludgeoning damage? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So first attack. Ten. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna do flurry of blows. Which gives me two unarmed attacks. Uh, both those miss. Oh, I thought you got one per. Okay. <laughs> uh, how many key points can I spend on this? <laughs> uh, you have six for short. Uh, question. Can I, uh, am I able to spend another one to hit again, or because it says two uh, unarmed strikes, so that's that's no, weird. So you normally do, so the way it usually works with unarmed strike is you do an attack with one and then a bonus action to attack your second one. Flurry of Blows lets you do a third. Oh, okay, so then I, can I do my bonus action to do the one? Yes, you can do your bonus action to the last one. Okay. That hits. All right. And. So I guess as you 16 in total. Run, as you run off, and you just punch the Hydra in the face twice. Um. I don't I don't know how to respond to this. The Hydra looks a little bit confused. <laughs> um is that your turn? Uh I believe that's all I can do, yeah. Uh one action, two action, bonus action. Yeah, that would be it. Nia, you are currently cowering. And what of it? Oh wait, shh, shit! I fucked up with the Vesseran. Vesseran, do you remember what your um, what your order was? What your turn order was? Eight. Okay. 
Uh, so we will have the deer be in the order on an eight. Okay, there we go. Nia, you're up. Okay. Um, I kind of like slowly pick my head up from the blankets and what exactly am I seeing? Like paint the scene for me, like a picture. Uh, as you pick your head up, in the direction where the enemies is, you see Galthuk running forwards, and as a Hydra head attempts to snatch towards him, he just punches it in the face twice, with an elk running further down the snowy path. Does the Hydra look injured? Um, it looks <laughs> annoyed. Does the Hydra look injured? No. And no. It was punched? Does the Galthuk look injured? No. No, the Galthuk does not currently look injured. Mm. You do see me heavily bleeding out right now, though. Yes, you do, oh. <laughs> in fact, see Aleva heavily bleeding. I can't heal her. No! Um... Wait, as a question, would it count as an action for me to um, get up and throw the blankets on her? I would say yes. Well, wow. half your movement to get up and then... Man, that's bullshit. Um, is there enough room under the blankets for me to hide her, though? <laughs> She's technically already yes? hidden. Okay. He's technically already hidden because the Hydra can't see in the orb, but. Um, I just kind of like scuttle over a bit. I like th throw the blankets over him, just like, shh, don't move. And I hide her and protect her from the scaries with the blankets. <laughs> I go, child. No, not now. Now is not the time. And uh, back. That... are you dying? And whoever is next. Okay, the Hydra is next. Which kind of confused looking the deer and then Galthuk and then deciding Galthuk looks like he's got more meat on him. Hmm. So the um, deer that's a large creature? Wait, hold up. The deer is not a large creature. Elk. Is it He's an elk? Elk is large. Deer is not. Ah. Here he said he wants to be an elk, which is That's, large. That is a good point. Ah, I will make you a large deer. I mean, still, one creature's running away from it. The other one is punching it in the face. Kind of makes more sense for it to want to bite the dude in its face. And and uh, since Galtak also has like muscles bulging out of its ears, it's like ah yes, very good. <laughs> yeah. And the um, the blue light kind of catches a glint of its <laughs> its look. And so Galtak does a seventeen hit. Yes. Does a nineteen hit. Yes. Does a twelve hit. No. Does a twenty five hit. Yes. Does a twenty four hit. Yes. Okay, you take. 16. 30 points of damage. All right. As it just bites you all over. Um, that is its turn. Leva, you are currently being cuddled by a tiny, angry child. I'm not angry currently. I am a tiny, scared and, child. I am confused and frightened, but not angry. <sighs> I, uh, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, uh, take off the blanket for a bit, uh, oh, well, if he decides to put it back on me, then that's whatever, but I take off the blanket for now, uh, and I start using, uh, my, uh, healer's kit on myself to give myself 1d6 plus 4, plus, uh, Additional hit points equal to the creature's maximum number of hit dice. So that's six. So 1d6 plus four plus six. Nice. Uh, 
uh, on d6, plus 4, plus 6, so 15. Okay. okay. Uh, you just see Leva uh, just like quickly do some uh, like uh, quick first aid, just patch up like a lot of holes in her and go stand and uh, I stand back up and say, what are we doing? And that's uh, my turn. Okay, Ashi. I do leather girl three state up front. We are trying to stay silent. That thing is a damn hydra. It will kill us. I agree with Ashi. Vesterin is trying to be a decoy. Galtek didn't get the memo. It's oh no, Galtek did get the memo. Well, uh, this is out of character, but <laughs> no, no, I, I'm saying in character because that's yeah. what my character believes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, at this oh, moment, does Solus hear me? So on, so on. Sound can go through the hut. It's uh, I'm inside the illusion, technically outside the hut. Would it be more clear if I placed my token over here, outside the hut, but inside the illusion like this? No, probably. that's fine. Oh, uh, Doc? Yeah, probably. Because I'm not in the hut, I am in the illusion, though, so they can't see me. Because I know you walked off, and I don't see you, and I don't see the horses. So I'm assuming wherever the fuck you are, you're worth the horses. I kind of just in this generalized direction, I guess. Uh yell out or not yell out but rather just talk using wait hang on does this work you cast um what was it spell not message the uh psychic link right i didn't cast it no we don't have it i didn't okay fine does message work without me having to see you uh blah 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 Towards within range and whisper, the target hears a message. You can cast the spell through us all objects. It is gone. I don't have to see you. Beautiful. I will use message to cast a message in the direction of the horses, hoping something can, someone can understand me. Uh, basically requesting if you can cast your silent image to encompass where the hut would be located to, so that I can temporarily drop it and then recast it. It looks like the, it looks like to describe the image. It looks like part of the cliff is on top of the hut, and our hut looks. It doesn't look like it's a hut as much as it looks like a pile of snow at the edge of a cliff. Cool. That's I've already bring my like. action using message. Um, can I reply? Is that a thing that message can do? Yes. That's yes. You, you can, in fact, reply to this. I, I, I reply that uh, the horses are hidden. I'm scouting. Yeah, get Galthuck back in here. Cool. Uh, then I have a question for the DM. Mm -hmm. If I were to now drop said hut, would the action I readied previously be activated? No, it's already been wasted. So? Because it only you can only hold the action for one turn. Uh, I see. Wait. The... Whatever. I need to start reading into ritual casting. It takes 10 minutes to cast a ritual, by the way, so yeah. dropping the hut, you would not be able to cast it for free. Yeah, I know. There's nothing I can immediately do. Um, as part of my message, I would also request the psychic link. Beyond that, hang on, I see Leva, right? Leva's by me? You see Leva kind of underneath the blanket. I took it off me when I was doing my thing, but yeah. Um, wait, who the fuck is the next step on the turn order? That's the deer. Or oh, well. I'm... You know what? Okay, let's do it this way. Because Leva is the only one who I see immediately and can actually do this, I'm going to give you a bardic inspiration. 
Nice. That'll actually be helpful. Where the hell is my button for that? Uh, there you go. And that's kind of all I can do without immediately dropping the bubble. Duck. All right. Uh, Vesrin, you are a deer. You are an elk. And you got to figure out yeah. what you want to do. So hearing the, the, the illusion behind me of Leva's voice, uh, Vesrin thinks that he's completely in the clear and this thing is on his tail. So he's just going to continue booking it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Kind of expected that. <laughs> I mean, that is the right play. <laughs> so I book it off screen. Whee! <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't see inside the bubble, right? Uh, you cannot. It's completely white. I can see Galthuk. Right? Yes, you can see Galthuk. Um, would you allow me to establish a psychic link with Galthuk and then walk into the bubble to establish it with the rest of the party? I'd allow that, yeah. Okay. So, as an action, I am using... Uh, Rick. I'm trying to find where it is. I'm using Psychic Whispers. Um, so, up to three creatures that I can see. I, I link Galthuk, walk inside, and I link... Uh, Eshi and Leva. So the four of us have communication. Nia does not have it. Um, okay. And I say, psychically, in your head, Galthic, like you can hear the Vesrin is safe. He's he's made it out. Uh, retreat. Fall back. Um, I also say, Leva, give, give a cover to Galthuk's so that he make so that he can retreat. Support uh, support his uh, escape. Leva uh, panting heavily after uh, the thing uh, after her uh, I think says says understood. I saw that cloud thing you did. Maybe maybe that'll help. I don't know. That's the only uh, thing I can do. And uh, she gets ready. Just cast it. That's my action. I don't think I could do much for bonus action, though. Uh, as a bonus action, or not bonus action, just the rest of my movement. I'm still within the image, right? So I'm still hiding with the horses. Mm -hmm. Hiding. As I step out, just to see what's going on, just to have a better view. Still hiding inside the image, still concealed. There you go. That's my That's my turn. Actually, you know what? I, I take that back. I'll stay inside the thing. Yeah. Okay. Galthuk. As I as I I hear the voice in my head telling me to to basically disengage. I'm still gonna punch once. That hits. All right, and then I am going to eight. I'm gonna punch it one more time. That also hits. I'm gonna spend a key point to disengage. Okay. And then run one into the bush. Out into the hut. Well, okay. I, um. I would have to go out of the way to get to the hut, right? Otherwise, if it sees the direction that I'm running in, it could follow me. So I'm trying to kind of lose it in here. That's okay. that's fair. That's I, I kind of, yeah, that's I like smart. that. Also, uh, whatchamacallit, free action, I tell Nia to stay in the hut. Stay safe. <laughs> you heard them, Nia. Stay out, get out of the hut. 
because Nia would not hear our psychic thoughts. <laughs> Alright, Nia, you're up. I just uh, put my I put my hand on her and say, "Stay put, little one. It's all right." <laughs> we can't hear you, Danielle. Your mic's muted. I did not realize I was muted. Um, my head was kind of poking out of the blankets, but upon hearing Leva's loving, motherly words, I very, very <laughs> slowly <laughs> retreat into the pile of blankets <laughs> again, like a turtle. <laughs> After breaking down my, after getting my door broken down, I somehow got a child. <laughs> yeah. She invaded your life. It's like a cat. Uh, so, the Hydra is going to follow you. Uh, Galfuck. Lava. All the alarms are going off. <laughs> you want to oh. act follow it? But okay. thankfully, because of that, I know exactly where it is. Galfuck. <laughs> Does a 10 hit? No. Does a 21 hit? Yes. Does an 11 hit? No. Does a 16 hit? Yes. Does a 15 hit? No. Okay, you take 24 piercing damage as it bites into you again. As you see me fall and hit the ground. You're unconscious? I am unconscious. Okay. Shit. Uh, Leva just seeing this just in, just just says uh well says shit and uh cast thought cloud on uh well, let me just zoom in real quick uh. Uh, I'll cast it. I'm gonna wait until after you cast fog, fog cloud to use the psychic wing. To oh, did you did you roll the d100 after I? Yes, I did. Okay, it was a 25. Okay, I'm gonna cast it like around here, kind of uh linking into the uh thing as well, and. And I uh stay in the psychic link. He's in the he's at the very end of the he's at the very end of the cloud. I respond, the situation's under control. Uh stay in the stay in the bubble. I'll get him. I'll help Understood. him. And as my bonus action Oh no, the, I can only use that as an action. Oh, damn, okay. Alright, well, that's all I do then. Okay. Ashi. Also, Ashi, you heard our, you heard our commu our psychic communications. The only one that hasn't is Nia. Cool. I will immediately cast. I will immediately use my free action to tell Nia hide in the blanket. Don't go outside. It's fine. I wasn't leaving the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I already I already told her. <laughs> you you see like like Galfuck fall into the snow though. He also heard that I said the situation's under control. What that means is up to you to ask. <laughs> I'm going to have some basic trust in my comrade out of sheer force, and as I cannot do anything without breaking the goddamn bubble. Uh, hang on. How is Leva looking in front of me? Uh, she's still bleeding. It's like, she's patched up, but she's still bleeding. Are you actively patching yourself up? Uh, I already did patch myself up. You see a lot of bandages all around me. You want more? Uh... We should probably wait for Galtic to get in first before administering more first aid. You know what? Fair. I will do it this way. Trusting my comrade, actually, I will prepare healing word for Galfuck upon his arrival. And yes, I know that burns it burns an action. Just do it when he gets Because <laughs> I want to do something. That's all I got. Okay. Um. 
Thorn. So, <laughs> no, before Thorn's turn, suddenly you guys see rushing out of the forest a very strange looking man. Is that Nickman, my what are you doing? Uh, pull arm out. I'm running at this thing with a battle cry. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> well, there's a, we have a new character, boys. <laughs> oh no, this is really our introduction. Like, <laughs> okay. right. what? I'm going to move 5, 10, 15. And I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. It is marked. All right. Now it's time to swing swang. To what? Uh. Um. Well, your first swing swang misses. <laughs> and two. Your second swing swang also misses. Lempo would like to take this opportunity to use a free action to say, What the? Who the fuck is he? <laughs> I respond, expendable. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who the fuck that is. Um, well, you are up now. Okay then. Um, still Here, inside the illusion. Did you update the link? Will do. So okay, so I'm going to step outside, still in delusion, still invisible, effectively. <laughs> and as a bonus action, I cast Healing Light. I cast Healing Light, which I forget how much that heals for. Give me a second. Healing Light. I cast it on Galthuk. He heals 1 plus 2. He heals 3. Oh, what? 1d6. Yeah, so roll a d6, Galthuk. Galthuk heals for 4 HP and is up. He's inside the fog cloud. Uh, I need to verify Psychic Whispers. Uh, you and other creatures must be within one mile. A creature can't use telepathy. And a creature can end the telepathy. It doesn't say anything about ending when the creature is unconscious, so I think Galtha can still hear us, right? I believe so. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense if it didn't. Um... <laughs> Thinking. It, which way is the Hydra looking? Uh, two of its heads are still looking at Galthuk, and three of it have turned around to the oh. weirdly flailing dude. Galthuk's in the fog, though. Oh, that's like, a good point. Yeah, he wouldn't be in the fog now. So all of them are looking at the weird guy? Yeah. Well, no, one's still trying to find him in the fog, I would say. Okay. But four of them are looking at the weird guy. Mm -hmm. It's good enough. <laughs> Uh, Eighty percent of the pressure is off of him. <laughs> did I get a short rest while I was on the ground unconscious? I'm just kidding. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna um, go with no. <laughs> can I? Man, can I just clearly, yes to that. <laughs> can I clearly see the new guy, or from this angle I can't? Um, I would say from that angle you can. Okay, I hate that I have to do this because it's such a waste of a resource, but I'm expend. But uh, I'm gonna think first that. Well. God damn it, is this guy expendable or not? <laughs> That's the question I have to figure <laughs> out. <laughs> um, your question, isn't it? Who the fuck just goes you know up what? and attacks Actually, a Hydra? <laughs> you know what? Actually. I'm not establishing a psychic link. I'm not doing that. Um, but Galthuk, Galthuk, Eshi, and Leva can hear me think, um, uh, play along by ear. Galthuk, come back. As I will move into the fog here. 
right? 20 feet? Mm -hmm. Through the bubble into the fog, so I'm still hidden. And from here, I cast a Minor Illusion south of the Hydra. And in Galthuk's voice, it's going to be like, Oh, oh, oh I can't, be can't believe that stupid beast fell for it. <laughs> hey, idiot, run into, run into the snow pile. Run into the fog. I, I yell out. Are, I, I think you guys are overestimating the intelligence of a Hydra. It's a beast. It, it goes by sound. It's looking for him. It's Galthuk's voice. And <laughs> it's communicated... <laughs> To the stranger that he's in fact an idiot and should get into the fog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I proceed to go back into the safety bubble. I have ten for more feet of movement. <laughs> so here. <laughs> um that's my turn. <laughs> Galthuk, you are back up. And you hear yourself. Off in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Drake, is that you? As I start walking towards the light. Oh, wait, no. I, I pull myself back up. I well, stand up. Pulled you. <laughs> and I uh, literally did pull you back. And then uh, I, I kind of kind of brush myself off a little bit. And I want to stealthily kind of work my way back into here. Um... Hmm. You're not I'm, disengaging, though. I am inside of his path of 15 feet. That is a very good point. Okay. He just and vanishes. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and then I spend a key point just so that I can I can disengage. Actually, I just want to do that after the fact, just to see if my uh, if and I and you hear uh -oh. you hear a loud hello. Go off. Another 25. Ah. Uh. Okay. Nia. Danielle is currently in the restroom. Thing for sheet. Thank you. You're hiding yeah, the sheet. Is okay. left in the bubble? I, refrain I remain I am. hiding. There oh, are only so many dang. things I can smack with the nutcracker, and this is not one of them. So the Hydra is going <laughs> to turn towards the weird dude. <laughs> uh, does a 12 hit? No. Does a 27 hit? Yes. Does a 27 hit? Yes. Does a 9 hit? No. Does a, a 10 hit? No. Okay, you take 14 piercing damage. And actually, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and roll that. Alright. Yeah, I was, I was I was gonna wait till it was my turn. This did not. Yep, there you go. All right, Leva. Oh, you're sporty. Perfect. Um. Hmm. As I, one distraction I, I'd like to... leaves, another one arrives. I'd like to. I'd like to think. Uh, to. If you can move the cloud to cover the Unfortunately, idiot. I can't. I can't move it. Oh. That's and, sad. and that was that was my last uh, first level slot. Uh, first level spell slot. Oh wait. Is dropping concentration in action or no? Dropping it's concentration free. is completely free. I just realized. I could have cast the really big fog cloud at the start of the turn. I'm an idiot. This is what happens when you don't read, kids. Stay in school. You heard her, Nia. <laughs> you heard her, YouTube. Bit. Uh huh. So if I cast this at second level, but I do kind of want to keep my second level right now. I guess I can do third. I don't really have much use for it right now. Yeah. Um so uh after after confirming Galta gets inside uh the tiny hut, uh uh, uh vet 
uh, Leva will drop the original uh, file cloud. The first file cloud, or whoops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, delete and cr and cast file cloud at third level. So th instead of a twenty foot cube, it is a sixty foot cube. Uh, a uh, sixty foot radius. Okay. Um. Centered, I guess. Yeah. Like. You know what? Uh. Yeah. Where where are you centering it, Lava? I, I I I hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to make I'm trying to do the math right. That's forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, sixty. Okay. Whoops. Ten, twenty, thirty, three, fifty, sixty. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And one down. Like okay. Uh, this is this is uh, like that. Ashy, you're up. Hmm. Um. Do I see this strange person? Uh, not anymore. You don't. Do I have a vague understanding of where they would be? You saw them before, now it is a giant fog cloud. Cool. This worked one time, let me try to do it again. I'm going to use message and point in that general direction. Okay. I will give this person, uh, whatever the fuck their name happens to be, instructions for if they want to hide, they are welcome to come into the bubble. As in, there is a there is a safe space located approximately where this approximately where this message is coming from. Uh, the guidance being the northwest of them, being towards the American cliff. Okay, so just, I need you to tell me heads or tails. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, tails. Okay. Uh, you res you hear in the back of your head. <laughs> response. Cool. I'll take that. Um, Necrin. That's beautiful. Uh, giving a bit of a growl. I'm going to. You think you heard... it was the Hydra that responded? It might have been. <laughs> it might By have the been way, Nickrin. just to clarify, you heard a, a deep voice being like, "Oh, it's so stupid! Doesn't know that I'm running. Only an idiot would run into the snow pile." <laughs> Something like that. I am going to make an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a trap. You don't know. He has. A, he, we find out he has an intelligence of five. <laughs> you think it's that high? <laughs> Necron realizing that everyone that he potentially saw to help aid him in this fight has turned tail and ran, or disappeared, or disappeared, is going to say fuck it and run to the snow pile. Okay. Um, are you disengaging? Okay. It doesn't it's, have to. Yeah, I was going to say, it's blinded, and I have blind fighting. I have blind sight. That is uh, true, but you're within you reach. to disengage. Depending I mean, on sure. Go. I'll disengage. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Staying in the fog cloud, actually. Which means I would be able to get one more in, actually, because of how physics works. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stolen. 
Okay. Hydra's here, right? Mm hmm You don't know. I can see... Well, wait, how tall is the fog cloud? Uh, it's a, well, it's a 60-foot cube. So it's 60 so feet up. You it's not very anything. big. Yeah. I can still make a noise within a general direction, right? Um, Using a minor illusion. I don't need... Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go next to Galthuk. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go next to Galthuk. This is still within the fog cloud, right? Mm-hmm. I step outside, being right next to the Hydra. Um, and my and uh, minor illusion. Uh, 30 feet south. So this way still. And now this this one is like a little bit quieter as if it's a little farther away, right? And it's just and it's just like a combination of Leva and uh, and Galtha laughing about how easy it is to get away as the voice is getting quieter and quieter. And I bonus action disengage to go back into the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just Galthuk. to make sure just to make sure the noise is south this way. Okay. <laughs> Galthuk. Uh, I'm going <clears> to <throat> hold my position. Level, se level says, if you guys are in, can I drop in now? Nia. No. No. Are you doing anything? She's muted. Are we in the safety? Yep. For now. I uh, pop my head up again, and what do I see once more? You see a giant fucking fog cloud is what you see. Is there, like, anything else? There is a very large shadow in the fog cloud. Does it uh, look like a friend? Preferably a familiar friend that we have been traveling with. Make an intelligence check, Neil. Oh dear. Oh no, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep making me do intelligence checks? I think you know the answer to that. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Yes, Nia. The giant, ridiculously large, snaking shadow in the fog cloud looks exactly like a friend. Stay put. I, I say out loud. But like, shh. Stay, like, stay put. Whispers. I pop back under the covers again. But they're your friend, Nia. No. Leva. You're up. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. I skipped the, the Hydra. The Hydra is going to make a wisdom save and is going to start to walk away. Uh, Necrin, do you want to take an attack of opportunity? You can't. Not while inside of it, yeah. Uh, Forty. And for expediency's sake, assuming none of you do anything super stupid, are any of you going to do anything super stupid? No, thank you. Maybe next week. Okay. The Hydra will be heading south. As you guys have made it through that encounter. Yay. Oh. As you all hear the stomping getting further and further away. At this point, Necron's going to turn to the room to see these individuals and go, I hope you know you just sent that beast south closer to inhabited regions. Down south is the Feywild. And it'll take care of that thing. That beast originated from the Feywild, would be my guess. I just shove my head out from the covers one more time, and I just call, What's a Feywild? The portal thing that almost killed us. Or killed you. Okay! And I just kind of like slowly crawl out of my hidey hole. 
Uh, sorry, I was uh, I was talking to my brother uh, just now. Uh, so what happened? Sorry. I asked uh, what a Feywild is. The Hydra. Nice. No. I asked what the Feywild was because now we're out of danger and I'm now crawling out of the hidey hole. In the Hydra hole. No, the hidey hole. <laughs> I I'd also tell Necron that Hydras have been spotted in Officer Grad territory before. Hmm. He gives a bit of a nod. Uh, once the Hydra disappears, I stop focusing on my silent image. And suddenly, the, the, it's as if like the cliff face disappears and just its horses will probably piss themselves. <laughs> oh, they most certainly have. <laughs> and upon seeing the mountain go back to normal, I will also... Uh, undo my fog cloud. And after I do, uh, sit down and give a sigh of just exhaustion. It is at this moment you see, actually con contemplate whether or not to drop, um, <laughs> drop house. No, we need rest. Mm. After that. <sighs> so, what possessed Vassarin to do that? I asked the party. I honestly don't know. I... He just... He just decided... He just decided to walk out of my alarm... Uh, rate, uh... Perimeter, and... Like, he just started walking south before I could even stop him with a whole person. Uh, uh, the Hydra attacked. Hmm. That, that's really all, like, it just happened so quickly. Well, we find a elf-shaped corpse. We know who got them. <sighs> I'd rather not think about it, but... As I'm, as I start to sit down, I kind of like put my hands into my pocket. And I, I realize that there's there's still a, a paper in there. Um, I pull it open and I go to read it. Oh, didn't you didn't you say that like uh, the cat gave me one as well, Kiri? The cat was supposed to wake you up, but the other one's at the car. Okay. So what do I what do I see? I read it? Uh, you see a note written. Siri, can you send him the text of the note, please? Yes. Like every good TV show, you should read it aloud. Yes, Kiri, if you would be so kind. Yes. Voice over. To read it aloud. Mm -hmm. Thusly. Alright. Gas tech. I wanted to apologize. I've left using shadows and lies to cover my exit. I'm sure you know how secretive the druids are. Know that I did want to come with you and the others, but I thought it best that I take my leave now. I'll aim for a bit less than your three-year trip, though. Uh, there's a note for everyone in the cart. Till we meet again. Besserim. Uh, not sharing it with the group. I just I I, uh, I held it held it to myself and kind of looked at everybody. And I said, uh, "Veseran left you guys a note in the cart." <sighs> I think we'll deal with that later in the morning. So, friend, what brings you here? Necron gives a bit of a huff. Well, it's a bit of a long story. After that, we have time. So, well, the floor is yours. He gives a laugh. Well, I suppose it started when I was thrown into the elemental plane of fire. 
You know you're surrounded by ice, right? Yes. Much more comfortable. From there, I was whisked away into the Feywild and remained there for about 15 years. Now, well, I'm here. Details. Well, details. If you want to hear them, I'd be happy to share. Let's let's start in order. Um, what is your name? Ah, forgive me. My name is Necron Kester. I'm sorry. Say that again. Necron Kestel. Necron Kestel. Okay. I see. And you say you were kidnapped into the a plane of fire. Indeed. It was. Well, I can't exactly remember much from before it. The most I remember is waking up in a world surrounded by flames, badly wounded. As much as I would love to hear about your adventures in there, for, as you said, 15 years, which is quite a while, um, I think the more important question is, how did you get out? Uh, well, from the elemental plane of fire or the Feywild? I suppose both? Well, when I came to the elemental plane of fire, I was fortunate enough to stumble across a kind tiefling, as kind as they come in those parts. Took me in, helped me find my way. Showed me the ability to find portals. From there, I found one to the Feywild that closed behind me. There, I was landed in the northern region. Under the control of King Oberon. Who I eventually came into the service of. And he guided me to a portal that he said brought me back to the Astral Plane. Is... That where I'm at now? For he says, about really confused. For about five seconds, Leva just like tries to take all of that in and like puts her hand on her head, like just absolutely in disbelief. It's like Tell me, stranger, where do you originally hail from? I remember Necron. just the name. The Empire. That is all. We heard none of that, Daniel. It's okay. She was underneath the cloth. She was underneath the blanket. That's I wasn't muted, and I got out of the blanket. <laughs> I basically said, "Well, we're in, we're in the Empire now." As I said a moment ago, it's apparently none of y'all can hear. With my knowledge of geopolitics, what empires do I know of, other than the obvious one? Uh. None on this current landmass or continent. How about other continents? There are, that are, one that are charted. Two, there are one or two you know of. Um, that would be the. I didn't make any six things off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, the. Stray Stragar Empire okay. and the Rutska Empire. Rutska. Which are both a continent away and a very large ocean. Would would I know if if Opsigrad went by any other names in the past? Uh it did not. It has been Opsigrad for the past basically okay. since the last calamity at least. Okay. So I'm. So I ask. Oh, are you from the? Are you from the Rutska Empire? I couldn't say. All I remember from before is ice and snow. Before going into the portal. What year? 
what what year was it when you went in? Uh, TM, what uh, year would it have been two years ago? <laughs> I actually do have that information. Hog. Hmm. The current year is... Do, 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 do. Current year is 8.42 PVC, post-Fifth Calamity. So, two years ago, it would have been 8.40 post-Fifth Calamity. I believe 8.40 is the last year I remember. Eight forty. That's two years. Uh, I, I cycling link is still up, actually. I, I think uh, in secret that's two years ago. Uh, Galthuk. It was uh, it was a few days here while you were in the Feywild. Yes, I was there for three years, but it seemed to have only been two here. Two days. Two days. Yeah. How old were you? When you went in, I asked the I asked Necron, if you don't mind me asking. Sixteen years old. He does not look like a teenager now, right? No. Nope. He looks like a grown ass man. Um. <laughs> so, no. Let me just try and pull up the image. Why is this not working? I could have sworn it would. Ah. What the fuck is the button for pulling up the image here? No, he does not. He if he looked he, if he looked like a teenager, he'd look like a JoJo teenager, if anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like an eighteen-year-old. You look like you're no. about to be my dad. Well, I did learn in my time in the Feywild that its perception of time is subject to change. I think to Leva and Galthug that that adds up. With Galtuck's recollection. I I say in the link, I agree. I, it nothing seems to be off here, at least from what I can tell. Just see a, a nod for me. I sort of shrug. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I can't, I can't hear any of this. Yeah, I'm just like vibing. Does she and Necron just see the three of us looking at each other and nodding? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're just and just like nodding in agreement as well. I don't know what's going on. I might as well agree. As does uh, <laughs> as does JJ as well. What was that? That's Anthony's what? cat, I think. Yep. What was that horrible noise? She's purring and trying to meow at the same time. Okay. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy our cat makes cute noises. <laughs> Oh, the chain a bit scary sounding. She <laughs> tried to attack the mic. <laughs> so, Cray, you know what to edit in there. Just a weird cat. Yeah. <laughs> the ghost of Ember passed. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Are you so guys... Then. Is there any more discussion? Or are you guys laying down for the night? So then. Let's uh, group like this. Traveling into the Feywild for... We're not trying to go to the Feywild. We're trying to get past it. To help us. Let's see. Well. I wonder then. Who is it you're trying to help? I don't know if it's a lost cause, but there is a person that's trapped in a in a mirror dimension and we are trying to let him out i see don't know if it's going to work now because the one person that was able to possibly do the spell is uh has left us i can try to I can try to give it a crack. Quick, uh, do you know the, what spell uh, he needed, actually, Galthuk? Uh, yes, it was the uh, 
I believe it was the scroll. Was it Scroll of Resurrection or no? It was uh, a Greater Restoration. Restoration, Yeah. Ah, I see. Who has it, by the way? I do. Lava, you think you can decipher this thing? No. Uh, from this, just by looking at it, I would realize that this is a spell way out of my, like way out of my league at the moment, right? Yep. Great. Because Greater Restoration is what fifth level? Hold on. Uh, Greater Restoration would be, I believe, yes. Yeah, fifth level. Yeah. That's an Arcana check. DC ten plus five level, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess I'll just roll a I'll kind of check then. Hold on. Well, uh, not 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 yet. We're not using it. Oh no! It's just to understand. It's see if it's way out of my league. <laughs> but yeah, I probably wouldn't know that anyway. So yeah. Uh, yeah. No, this is uh, I would not be able to understand this one. I am not proficient in Arcana. It's okay. You're proficient in everything else. Regardless, uh, I only I only got a lick of sleep. Uh, not feeling too well, pals. Or friends. Hmm. So it probably is best I'll to. Leave, uh... I'll leave the matter of the stranger to you to you all. I'd like to pretend to sleep, by the way. Okay. I don't know if anyone's like trying to incite me. Why is decision? Love was I'd... just too tired to care. I'd say uh, Necron probably is, just because he's uncertain of his surroundings. So, is everyone going to sleep then? Yeah, I will. I'm going back to bed. Uh, before before uh, Galta goes to sleep, uh, I will tend to his wound with uh, Healer's Kit. Just like... Wait, actually, no, we're doing a long rest now, right? Yeah, never mind. Mm -hmm. Never mind, sorry. Take that back. <clears throat> Alright, and with that, we will end tonight's session then. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Random Hydra. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's probably because I mean... Kiri got some really bad luck with rolls. Yeah. Oh, by any chance, Gautok, did you stop the stream? No, not yet. Oh. I wanted to make an announcement, but it's informal. No. Okay. Shadow make, the Hedgehog. Make it Too late, bitch! It's Edward's birthday, he's 27. Yep. Happy he birthday! Yes. Happy birthday! Happy yeah. birthday! Yeah. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Me. Edward. Hello. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Yay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> He's flustered. It's okay. Oh, okay. Isn't that adorable? Uh, all right, everybody. Thank you for, so much for uh, hanging out with us as we uh, play some uh, some D and D around the campfire. Uh, definitely check out the merch. We have some merch. We have shirts. We have cups. We have stuff. Uh, definitely come check me out if you'd like to see more of me throughout the week. And while I GM on Saturday nights, nine PM Pacific Standard Time, Curse of Strahd. Uh, thank you very much. And this is the this is a wrap for Elements of Thunder for tonight. Have a good one. Bye, all.